said she wanted to say something before the song. I didn't realize what was going to happen. <laughs> I really appreciate that, Mom. You're welcome. Okay, as you notice, we have a new bass player up here. Hey, I want to say something since he's standing right here on stage. Just, I know we're running late. Uh, it's my mouth. But uh, uh, Kelly, I, I, I wasn't involved in any of the recording process. I had to leave town before the recording even started. So I helped him write some songs, then I left town. And, uh, and then I only heard, a couple months later, I finally heard something. But anyways, when I heard the finished product, I, it was so shocking for, for me to hear that final product of it. And it was the most beautiful thing that I that it ever went through my ears. I mean, it was just so amazing to A, have been involved in it, and, and B, just to hear a beautiful piece of artwork uh, that with such a, an extreme uh, beautiful message. But anyways, I just want to say that Kelly did an absolutely amazing and wonderful job on that, and he deserves all of his stuff. everything I was going to say, so thanks, Adam. Thank you. No, no, it's good. It's saving me some throat here. Uh, okay, so this next song off of Bob says is called Childhood Side, and I'm, I'm going to spit it out as fast as I can, the story. Uh, so we had come home from the hospital that day, the emergency hospital, and uh, we went to this building uh, where we were staying, and, and uh, sometimes when I felt a little overwhelmed, I'd go up onto the roof of the building and, and hang out and and just uh, get away from everyone. No one ever came on top of the building. So I was up there that day laying on the building and uh, watching kites fly all over uh, the city. And if, uh, if you know anything about Afghanistan, you know the Afghans are really good at flying kites. Everyone knows how to fly kites there. I'm convinced even the goats know how to fly kites there. <laughs> so I was sitting back, just watching these kites go all over. And they have big kite paddles. They like put sharp things on the end of the string, close to the kites, like glass and stuff. And they try to snip each other's kites out. So they're not just flying them. They're like doing backflips and cutting people out of the sky. And, and the baddest mojo on the block has the, the kite in the sky. He still has a kite. Any kite gets close to it, he gets it. So I was watching this go all over the place. It's beautiful. They build their kites there, and they're amazing. And I saw this kite flying close to the building. I thought, man, that's, that person's got to be down there in the street. So I laid back down, and I was watching stuff all over the place. I looked up, and I saw that kite flying right over me. And I thought, my gosh, that guy's got to be standing on this building. So I looked back down, and there's the string. And it's dragging across the roof, getting close to the edge. And I was like, oh, my God. So I got up and I ran as fast as I could. I snatched that thing right before I went over the edge. So here I am, shirtless. <laughs> I'm covered in tattoos. I, I do not look like an Afghan, by the way, with, without my shirt on in public. And I'm dangling on the side of this building, holding on to a kite. So I've never flown a kite in my life, so I'm jumping up and down and screaming. And, oh, my God, what's the it just happens to be in the middle of Ramadan, so everyone is down in, in the courtyard. They're fasting. They're already a little upset because they're not eating all day or drinking water, and and uh, and uh, they're looking up at me like I'm a crazy person, and, like, and rightfully so. And uh, so I'm just going hooting and hollering as cots flying all over the place, and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Uh, and then the wind dies down, and the kite just starts to flounder and flounder and then whoop, right in the middle of the courtyard where all these men are, are praying. <laughs> and <laughs> so they finish what they're doing and then, you know, they're looking at me like, what are you doing landing a kite in the middle of us? Everyone knows how to fly a kite. You had to have done that on purpose, right? <laughs> so some of them walk over to the kite and they pick it up and they're like jumping and throwing it in the air trying to get me to fly it. And I don't know, I'm jumping too with the string. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. So I just I put the string down and put something on it and I go back to my mat and, and I lay down for a second. I look up and there's two men my age on the roof in the doorway. Never seen anyone up there. 
they're looking at me smiling, but they, you know, kind of testing it. They know if they should come out there or not. And I was like, waved them in. They didn't speak English, and I didn't speak uh, Dari. So they come onto the roof, and, and they, they signal over towards the kite string. One was smiling really big. It was a beautiful man. And he, uh, he starts walking over to it. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And he, he walks over and picks up the string and, and uh, looks over at me and kind of smirks. <laughs> Yells something out and tugs on it like three times. And it takes off like a rocket. <laughs> he looks back at me laughing. He's flying this thing all over the place. He's doing cartwheels and backflips. He's not even looking at it. He's looking at it. <laughs> So basically, the long story short, short, this guy was he was trying to teach me how to fly a kite. And if I, that was very, that was really, cru it was crushing in a way similar to the experience in the emergency hospital because if this person only knew where I come from and what I've done, he probably wouldn't be doing that. Or hell, he might. I don't know that. But the fact is, I went back to Afghanistan uh, to see what I could do to help Afghans and th what happened every single day was Afghans helped me heal my soul. So this song is called Child Inside. I thought like a child, and I played like one all the time. The older I got, the more I forgot. And I traded my kite for a fight. I soon I traded my kite for a fight. I'm gonna build myself a fence and no one will see who I am. Well, a God forbid they see what I did when I fought for all of the sand. I said, the roof. 
top of an Afghan motel. It was a local guy who gave me a cot and showed me the child that I had. I said, he showed me the child that I am.